We love craft beer. I think you guys have found out by our past videos where we always show you all the cool beers and all the bars that we go to. So this time we decided to do a specific video only featuring breweries. In recent years, in the inner west of Sydney, like near Marrickville, Newtown, all these kinds of suburbs, uh, tap houses and breweries have become more and more popular. There's a couple of main areas for breweries in Sydney. One of them is the inner west, where we are at right now, and the north shore, up near Manly. We are no experts in craft beer by any means. We know nothing about the process or how they're made. Uh, some of these breweries, they offer tours if you want to check it out, though. Today we're at Stockade Brewery. It's really common at these breweries, you can get a tasting paddle and that's what we've done today. It's a great option to try a whole different variety of beers. Uh, our selection here today, we've got the Pale Ale, we've got a New England IPA, a Raspberry Sour and a, a Stout. Well, my favorite's the Raspberry Sour, but uh, I'll try the Pale Ale. It's good. Many of these breweries will brew their own stuff on site. There's many different types of craft beer, and each one of these breweries will at least brew at least one type of the most popular ones IPAs, XPAs, Pale Ale, Stout. So, guys, one of my favorite types of beer, of craft beer, is Stouts. These very dark, very, very dense kind of type of beer. It's kind of like Guinness, somewhat different. So, when I saw that there was a maple stout here in Stockade, I was very curious to try it. It actually smells like maple syrup, which makes me very keen to try it, so let's give it a go. Oh, it's good. It's quite sweet, but it's good. If you try some beers that you like in these places, many of them will also have a takeaway option, so you can take home the ones you liked. This part of the inner west is called Markville, where this part of Markville is very industrial, it's full of warehouses. So many of these breweries are actually located inside those weird streets. If you're wondering where am I, you're actually in the right place. Many of these breweries are actually in this industrial area. So right now we're here at Grifter Brewing Company. This is one of our favorite breweries in the inner west and one of the first ones that we ever came to. It's really popular, I highly recommend it. Let's go. Craft beer is really varied. So if you've only ever tried kind of standard bottle shop beers before, there's a ch good chance that you're gonna find something you really like. This is actually my favorite brewery in the inner west. Two of my most favorite beers are here today. On my tasting paddle, I've got the Pink Galar, it's a sour, and the Oatmeal Stout. Really, really good, called the Omen. You can also buy growlers here, so if you're really thirsty or you really love a particular beer, you can basically buy a big bottle of it um, as a takeaway. One of the great things about the Inner West, and in particular breweries, is that many of them are dog friendly, so you can bring your favorite furry friend along. Our local tip for this video is to visit Wildflower Brewery. These guys are awesome. They're a very unique brewery here in the Inner West. They're a bit different to the other ones we're gonna show you today or what you're used to because they, they do the beers in a very special form. So the interesting thing about Wildflower Brewery is they brew their beers in a unique way. They actually go and forage for their own wild hops they barrel age the beer and they also blend it so they get a mix of old and new beer. 
um, and that's what makes it really special. It's something quite different, something you won't find at any of the other breweries. The tastes are amazing though, I highly recommend them. The beers here are pretty much split into bitters or acidy beers. I like acid because I like sours. The one I've got today is a gold. It's quite light, very creamy, almost kind of a honey flavor to it. It's really good. So the one that I tried today is called Foggy Morning. This beer is absolutely amazing. No wonder these guys win so many awards. Uh, the beers that they make are very unique in like the flavors you'll get are quite different to what you'll normally find in other craft breweries even. This one, for example, is made from smoked bark, bark smoked mouth, so it has a very smoky flavor to it. So these guys are actually only open for eight hours every week, Friday and Saturdays from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So make sure you get here in time. We arrived here at 2 p.m. and by 2.05 it was already almost full. The beer is excellent and the guys are awesome. You can talk to their staff members and they're awesome. So we really, really recommend this place. It's one of the special breweries around here. So today we're in Sauce Brewery. This is one of our totally favorites from the Inner West. We come here all the time. Uh, I'm particularly fond of their IPAs and their hoppy beers. Today we got a Pale Ale, which is one of the most common and famous. An IPA and a New England IPA, Bubble and Squeak, which is my favorite from here. Steph got a, a Saison, a Berliner Weiss, I think it is. I don't love that type of beer, but she loves them. One of our favorite things about Source as a brewery is that it's got an awesome outdoor area, perfect if you just want a couple of afternoon drinks with friends. Breweries will not sell food themselves, but most of the times you're gonna find a food truck here that sells some sort of food. This is a very good option because they rotate them on a daily or a weekly basis most of the time. Today in Sauce we happen to find one of our favorite food trucks, it's Rosa Cienfuegos Tacos. They are really really good, me as a Mexican I approve. So right now we are in John Henry's, this place is a classic of the inner west. They were probably one of the first breweries to start with all this craze and like trend of the breweries here in Mario and Newtown. They are located in the heart of Newtown and they are very famous all around the surrounding suburbs. Like, they brew really good beer. You can find it in many of the pubs around and even like outside towards the city. The most famous beer is definitely the Newtowner, which is a pale ale. It's really good, very delicious, and you can find it in many, other, many places. Many of the breweries we are showing you in this video of this area of Sydney are actually very close to each other. So if you're planning to do several of them in one day, it's totally possible even without driving. Most of the breweries here in the Inner West, they have really good merch like t-shirts, dobby holders, you name it. But probably Young Henry's has the best of the lot. Their t-shirts are really, really cool. So if you want to take home a good souvenir from a brewery, we recommend you to come to this one. Here in the Inner West, there's many breweries right now. We, of course, we cannot feature them all in this video because we want to keep it like a bit shorter. We're going to feature five of them. But a big shout out to other breweries we're not touching, like Batch, Wayward, Willy the Boatman. We'll make sure to visit you guys in other videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked our video. If you want to see more, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.